So a G.I. Joe Adventure Team mobile support vehicle. It was a search for radioactive satellite. And this cool set had many features uh, that were pretty awesome. Uh, but by design, probably one element that stood out from the whole thing was the clear dome on the vehicle. So given this was a toy, uh, kids like myself had it outside to play with and those plastic domes took a beating on cement driveways gravel just from dirt and rocks and everything else so this dome isn't too bad uh, there are some deep scratches and nicks from sliding on cement driveways and that I know going into this I won't be able to get those out they're just too deep uh, but there are so many fine scratches there's dull spots even this odd brown spot uh, I can't seem to figure out if it's on the inside or outside it's not cleaning off but I'm gonna be working on those to lighten those up and lessen the severity um, the corners and edges I think have the deepest scratches uh, there's uh, scratches on the inside though not as many um, but there is this dullness to the surface just all over inside and outside of this uh, plastic dome I'm starting off first cleaning uh, cleaning it well with some Dawn dish soap for this project I'll be using uh, 1500 grit and 3000 grit sandpaper uh, with a finishing of the Meguiar's Plastex clear plastic polish. Not to scare you, but just to put things in a proper perspective uh, starting out on this. Uh, expect it to be a bit tedious. Uh, maybe it won't be uh, for you. Maybe it'll be a little bit of a breeze. But at least if you're going into this uh, mentally prepared for the task, uh, you'll be able to keep up with it and not give up hope as you go. So I'm starting out with a 3000 grit sandpaper. Um, one other important thing again is to make sure you're wearing your dust mask so you're not inhaling any of the fine particles here while you're sanding. Uh, keep moving and alternating circular motions not spending a lot of time in just one particular spot so continuous motion So as I've given it a good initial sanding, I'm gonna start misting the surface here with the water, uh, just plain water. 
and uh, it's going to help with the sanding. It kind of glides better along the surface. It's smoothing out some of these um, patches and it also helps to keep the dust particles down from out of the air. So during this process, as I finish going over the surface with the 3000 grit, I'm just coming back in with that 1500 grit and repeating it uh, over every area that I use the 3000 grit. So it's just doing the same thing all over again. I've sanded the surface and uh, the inside of the dome. So I'm going back in for one final time, uh, work on some of the remaining uh, spots that are stubborn, like this brown spot on there. So after all the sanding is done, I'm moving on to apply the clear plastic polish. I'm putting it on with a soft cloth and just like the sanding using the small circular motions uh, to apply it. So it turned out pretty good. Uh, my ultimate goal was to keep up a good appearance and uh, improve the value of the item. And I think I was able to accomplish both. Uh, the good thing about this process is if I feel like I have a spot or an area that I've missed or I want to try to improve on it, it's uh, an easy process now just to repeat those steps in those areas. So that's a wrap on this episode. I uh, hope it was helpful for you. Uh, you know, this is a process you can really use on most of the clear plastics uh, to reduce those scratches and cloudiness. couple of the guys checking out the restored dome on the vehicle ready for a hot test and don't forget to subscribe to uh, Toy Tinker Tim and thanks for watching.